My name is Alina, and I'll be talking to you today about Riemann sums. What is a Riemann sum? Riemann sum is the approximation of the area under the curve with the use of rectangles. Depending on the number of rectangles you wanted, you would have to find the delta x. So suppose we're approximating the area between a curve and the x-axis um, from a to b with n number of rectangles with the width delta x, then delta x equals b minus a over n. This formula is important because we have to find the width of each rectangle in order to find the area. So the way you would find the area of each rectangle is delta x times its corresponding x, f of x value. And you would add the area of all of these rectangles, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, to get the Riemann sum. There's three different type of Riemann sums, which include left Riemann sum, right Riemann sum, and midpoint Riemann sum, and these are the formulas. Feel free to pause this video to write down these formulas. With these new formulas, I'll be showing you two examples on how to calculate the Riemann sum. The first example will be using the left Riemann sum technique, and the second one will be using the right. How to do left Riemann sum very quickly. The area using left Riemann sum or endpoints is b minus a all over n, which is the delta x, times the sum of all the y values before the last y value. So it'd be y initial plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus all the values until y of n minus 1. So in this example, our equation will be y equals 4 over x, 2 being the lower bound and 6 being the upper bound, so it would be a equals 2 and b equals 6. And we'll be using four left endpoint rectangles, which means that we're going to have four subunits, and that means that n equals 4. So to find the delta x, what we're going to do is subtract the upper bound, which is 6, minus the lower bound, which is 2, all over the amount of rectangles that we want, and in this case we want 4. So 6 minus 2 is 4 over 4, so you'll find that delta x equals 1. Since delta x equals 1, the way that we can find the sum of all the y values using the left endpoint is by finding the intervals. So because our a equals 2, that means our first interval would be from 2 to 3 because 2 plus 1 equals 3, right? So our next interval would be 3 to 4 and then 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 because you want the left Riemann sum, which means that you want the left endpoints. So you want the value of 2, value of 3, value of 4, and value of 5. And when you plug it into the formula, you'll see that 1 times these y values, the sum of the y values, and you'll get 77 over 15. The area using the right endpoint of the Riemann sum equals delta x, which is b minus a over n times all the y values, or the right values. So in this equation, y equals negative 1 over x from negative 5 to negative 1, with the lower bound being negative 5 which is a, and b equals negative 1. And we'll be using 8 right endpoint rectangles, or 8 subunits, which means that n equals 8. So using that information that we know from the top, we can find delta x, being that it's going to be b minus a over n, which means negative 1 minus negative 5, which you get 4, positive 4, over 8, you'll find that delta x equals 1 half. Because you're using the right endpoints, and because the increment is 0.5, we'll be finding the y values of the right side. So it'd be negative 4.5 in increments of 0.5, negative 4.5, negative 4, y of the negative 3.5, and so on, all the way until y of negative 1. 
So when we use a formula, we plug in the delta x and all the y values in 0.5 increments, we find that the answer will be 4,609 all over 2,520, or about 1.83. I hope that my video was helpful in your understanding of Riemann sums and how to calculate it. Thanks for watching.